Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually make. I decided to pretty much make a vlog of how my day usually goes. Basically like a day in the life, which is a trend that you probably have seen a million other YouTubers do. Now, I wanted to kind of give it my own spin and kind of show you my mundane, relatively strange, relatively simple life as well. I thought it'd be interesting and maybe you guys could get some insight into what it is to make videos for a living. You know, I was a pro gamer and now that I'm making content and all the other random things that I do, maybe you guys will find that interesting. And I figure with the way that I basically barely function somehow in society because i'm a very irresponsible man child and maybe you guys will find enjoyment in that <laughs> nonetheless let's hop around for the ride testing 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 all right good morning generally every day starts around roughly 9 a.m sometimes i have to upload a video so i just have to wake up pretty early and sometimes i wake up at 4 p.m honestly it depends how lazy i am for the day or what i have to do it always starts with this dog right here biting me or just being loud and yelling <laughs> the dog is actually a big reason why we always wake up at random hours of the day because this little devil doesn't know how to behave now as you might tell from here um this room is pretty barren to be honest with you we, we recently moved in because i just bought a house recently so this is just you know a, a mattress on the ground <laughs> really nothing fancy first thing i always do is that i immediately come to the office which is where the magic happens now you might be wondering isaiah this place looks like absolute garbage completely unorganized, super dirty, stuff all over the place. I'll be honest with you, this is honestly the, some of the cleanest it's ever been. I'm pretty messy, so I mean, things usually are all over the place. This is actually not bad at all. Um, honestly, it's gonna be cleaned up rather soon because I'm still moving in random things in here. But, I mean, this is just kind of what, you know, where the zero magic is, the rig and everything just kind of just happens here. Enjoy the audio wire <laughs> management there. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Controller on the ground. <laughs> I have this little hammock here for my feet. Honestly, one of the greatest additions I could have ever added. Anyway, the first thing I always do when I wake up in the morning is that I have to upload the video for the day because it is daily uploads. There is pretty much always the constant. We have to upload the video. And sometimes videos are actually finished right before the deadlines because we upload it every day at 10 a.m. ET. Sometimes videos are finished at like 8.30, 9 a.m. And we're just barely finishing the video and uploading. The reason this happens is because daily uploads are just really stressful. The Zero Channel is actually a team of four people. I am one of the people managing. I direct every video, I kind of construct the storyline for every video and obviously record them and a bunch of other stuff. And then the editing team is Jugs, who manages everybody. And then we have Adam and Toasty who help out with all the edits. I actually used to edit uh, all videos myself for, for pretty much the majority of the lifespan of this channel, but eventually it just became too much work and I'm not the greatest of editors anyway, so I mean, you know, they do a much better job. You guys, you guys will not like my current editing <laughs> with the audience that we have noticed, which is not happening. So I'm the kind of person that gets hungry every single morning immediately as I wake up. So right after I'm pretty much uploading the video, which takes forever because we upload like 30 minute videos, hour long videos, there's just like 20 gigabyte files, way too long to upload. So immediately go to the kitchen. Now before, during my unhealthy days, breakfast was typically another word for dinner. So we will probably eat some noodles, some mashed potatoes, something like really carb heavy. And that's why I got fat. But now we have better habits. So I'm going to show you my usual morning smoothie. By the way, an interesting trick that you can do if your bananas go bad is that you can put them on a bag in the freezer so they don't, you know, they don't die as quick, I guess. So anyway, I like protein powder. I mean, it just kind of gets the job done. This is the kind of like thing that you can buy and you can just get a lot of BS type of product. I really recommend something natural so you don't get like garbage in your body. When I was 16, I could play Smash all day. Um, and I have to worry about anything in life, but now if I have like two days of bad eating, I just feel awful. Dude, this is this is the most awkward spot to grab peanut butter, Jesus Christ. Whatever, we get two. Mm, nice. nice. You want a butter knife? No, no, this is fine. Look, this is this is just how the average morning goes like in the zero hole. You know, I will actually lick my fingers if I wasn't on camera right now, but I feel like whatever. Anyway. We'll put, we'll put the thing. It reminds me of that video of that guy who will just wash his whole elbow. He'll put like his whole elbow here and wash up the hair, dude. It was Tony Gawa the anime. Anyway, so we, get, we make sure to get a nice handful of greens. Generally, it's 
kale or spinach. Um, and it's very important because generally my days tend to be very long. So like I'll wake up at nine and then I'll go to bed like at 3 a.m. So it's like, it's sometimes it's like really long and exhausted. So you need like, you need good food to kind of like stay up sometimes. Nice little concoction here. Now this is the biggest struggle that I have when I make this thing is that for me, it's always a guessing game. So I'll just put it like somewhere here. Yeah, just don't break it. <laughs> it's a ninja. How would it break, dude? I. That's wrong, too. <laughs> this is fine. There you go. I mashed my way and it worked. All right, great. So now that it's ready, you might think, all right, great, Zero, you're gonna pour, you're gonna pour this into like a cup or something. No, I generally just drink it from here because I don't know, grabbing a cup is annoying because you have to wash it, so. Because I'm going to the motocross track today. Now you might be wondering, okay, Zero, but you don't go to the motocross track every day, right? Well, actually I go pretty often. My local track actually opened back up uh, with some rules, of course. But I am going to go to the track because it was part of my weekly routine. I will go to the track like three times a week. But anyway, because we're going to the track, we need a little bit more energy. So I need to make eggs. First thing I wonder is, where is the pan? And this is something that happens every morning. I'm gonna I let can, you look for it. I can never tell where anything is in this house. It is. <laughs> okay, I like the little pan. Do you want a bigger one? No, I like the little okay. pan. Now this is my first time using this, so let me figure it out. Uh, oh, first time because we recently moved in. I wanna say this. It's a touch screen, right? Yeah. It is, right? So why is it not touching? Oh, it had a lock system. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My sister taught me how to make these eggs, which I've done for the rest of my life pretty much, because this is like 15 years ago. She's she like me. a chef too. Because I don't like to do butter, because it's too many calories, and oil is too many calories, uh, I do think butter tastes the best. I usually go for milk. All right, so now we wait for this to heat up a little bit. Anyway, now you're gonna see me break some eggs. I'm feeling... Probably three eggs. Can I do it with one hand? I actually have never tried to do it with one hand. Oh, dude, I'm a, dude, that was my first time ever trying and it worked out perfectly. Mmm, did you smell that? Now that smells like victory. So we used to have an argument in this house where like I make my eggs too liquid uh, because I like to take them out a bit early. I don't know why, it's just how we do it in Chile, I guess. And here in America, you guys like these like really solid eggs. Now the, the funny part where the debate comes from is that I used to say my eggs were better. But as it turns out, I actually switched over to the American method recently because I also thought it tastes better now. It's probably not smart to walk around with this, right? Nope. Maybe the heat was a little too strong, but whatever. Usually whenever I cook, there's always some type of mistake. There was a, there was a time where I tried to do pancakes and I messed it up and I dumped them on the sink and I just said, whatever, Vanessa will figure it out, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we have my ratchet eggs. We have my, <laughs> my drink of choice. So an important part of the routine is that I generally need to do some type of warm up before I go do moto because it's very intensive, a lot more than people realize. I don't have the physique for it to be honest with you, but warm ups do tend to help and I also like the right backs in general. So let me take you through the garage, which I would like to say looks less messy than usually it does. Honestly, it always looks like this. All right, now I, gotta, now I get to do the manly thing. Oh! And you probably wonder, why are you riding your bike indoors? Well, this is my house and no one gets on the road. <laughs> now, for the purpose of the video, I don't think we actually have time to ride today, but just imagine I went to ride my bike for like 10 to 20 minutes outside. All right, so it's time to go to the motocross track. I got my motocross pants on, the braces, the backpack, we got everything loaded up in the van. It's just time to go. We generally tend to take the dog, which I think you guys have met on the live stream, but I think you met on the YouTube channel officially, but uh, her name is Ruby, but we call her Kaka like 99% of the time, so I guess her name is Kaka. See? Smells like Doritos. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 And of course, what kind of trip would you have if you don't have a little montage of driving somewhere? And we have made it. Oh yeah. In case you didn't know, this bike is like 200 something pounds. So just moving it is a workout. Now here's the part that sucks. How are we gonna put this on the stand? Literally, have to grab it. Oh. So there's a 2020 KTM 450 SXF, which I know that sounds like a lot of words. It basically means very fast bike that you can definitely 
kill yourself in. That's all you need to know. I managed to get this bike because uh, I'm partners with Red Bull. Red Bull works with KTM, uh, which is one of the top brands for dirt bikes. And there you go. <laughs> this bike is a little bit modified. It doesn't have like engine modifications or anything like that. But it has like, you know, better chain, you know, tires more specialized for the terrain. It's got like these really dangerous foot picks. Like if you do this, I'll cut myself. Uh, cause you need grip for it. it. has like a couple guards and things like that. A couple mods just for functionality. Nothing that makes it actually go faster. Just, you know, be more resistant. And just, you know, if you take a beating, then it's less likely to break, things like that. Now here's the cool thing. They actually made a typo on the name. So it's Gonzalo Barrio. They missed the S, but I left it there cause that's just the kind of dirt bag that I want. Right, well, the bike has to warm up for a little bit. I need to warm up myself, so I'm gonna go to the turn track. We're just gonna ride a couple turns, a couple laps. And we'll go on the main track where we can certainly die. The track here is pure sand, and sand is really hard to ride because you don't really get any traction at all. You're basically riding, the bike's going like this the whole time, and it's really scary. But uh, we'll see how I do. <laughs> The hardest part about falling is that you have to pick up your own bike. Like every time you ride, you're just like <laughs> crazy. Anyway, let's try the mid truck. Yeah, today's hard. <laughs> It's so hard, dude. Like, I'm just wobbly the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's so intimidating. Alright, so we're done with the ride for the day. Now the objective is to go home and shower. If you notice, I didn't shower at all during this video. It's simply because I knew it was going to the track, so we're gonna get all dirty, muddy, sandy. There's no point in showering if you're gonna get extremely dirty like an hour later. So I mean, now it is time to do what no one does in this community and get it done. Alright, so I'm back home. Uh, now the objective is that definitely need lunch. I am absolutely starving because I had no snacks of any kind. Usually on these uh, motocross sessions, I'll burn like a thousand plus calories or something like that, depending on how hard we go in the session. But now we got some Chipotle. Chipotle is uh, honestly a pretty he healthy option. I don't usually get something complicated. I get like bowl to avoid calories. Uh, Vanessa's eating the chips and queso. And for me, it's just a combination of like chicken, veggies, beans, and brown rice. And honestly, it's all good food for you anyway. Mmm, look at that. Also, if you guys can tweet at Chipotle to sponsor me, <laughs> that'd be great. Because if I got one of those cards that you get infinite free Chipotle, that'd be absolutely got like. Because I do actually support them pretty heavily. All right, now I'm back at my desk and it is time to work on YouTube videos. I say the first step to making a zero YouTube video comes down with idea creation. I think we spend a couple hours every single day talking either with my team or maybe me talking to other creators or maybe me talking to Vanessa or just me talking to myself in my head. Like what ideas are interesting, what ideas are good. And it doesn't just come down to ideas that are like good clickbait or anything like that. Generally, a lot of the time lately, we've been more worried about what ideas lead to good videos. Like what ideas do we come up with to make for interesting content that we can 
can make something different, something that is unique, and something that people watch and go, wow, that was a great video, like, I would like to watch more. That is much more complex than just like, oh, -ho, watch this, and you'll never know what happened, because it doesn't really work anymore, and it's just not interesting, and I'm less interested in clickbaity, flashy titles, and more interested in making interesting, good, long-term content, is what we're trying to make here in this channel now. Uh, regardless, my next meal of the day, which, by the way, happens to be my dinner, because I had to nap <laughs> before this segment, because I was dead after the motor strike. Sometimes it just happens, you're just dead after riding. Nonetheless, it is going to be some salmon, brown rice, broccoli, and avocado. I tend to have at least one avocado a day, and at least try to mix in chicken and fish. Uh, and also have my portion of greens with a good amount of water. Now, in terms of how much time we spend on videos, honestly, it depends. Sometimes for some variety games that we make videos on, we'll have like a three hour recording that then we kind of chop down to like the best 30 minutes or best 40 minutes. If it's a Smash Bros video, generally those tend to be about an hour or maybe an hour and a half. So then we can get it down to like 30 to 40 minutes. I really enjoy the long video format because I find that people can kind of just relax, have a meal too. Uh, people seem to watch longer when you make longer videos. So I mean, I like making stuff that people can and I watch like the daily episode of something, right? It's like the season is just completely ongoing. Now this is what the setup usually looks like when I'm recording videos. I'll have two big uh, background lights right here, which will kind of give light into the whole room. And then I'll have this really huge ring light, which just lights up my face correctly. I'll have the camera right here. I don't really use any type of webcam. I use a Sony A7, which is also the same camera I'm using to record this video right now. And then we're also trying to pimp out this section right here. We have the Rebel Fridge Naturally. We have Cloud, which I bought the Legendary Edition. And we're kind of just slowly filling this up, but there's just some LED lights at the background. I like the purple take recently. Uh, we did a lot of blue for the past couple of videos. So I'm just trying to mix everything up. Nonetheless, it is time to eat some food and then get to work. So it is now like about 11.30 p.m. Roughly around midnight or like 11 p.m. is when we start preparing the thumbnail for the next day. Thumbnails usually get done very late into the day because usually editing takes a while and then thumbnails usually will take like at least an hour or two. Sometimes we take like three hours to make a thumbnail simply because there's just so many different ways you can make a thumbnail and it affects tremendously the performance of your videos. So we have to really think about it sometimes. And some visual concepts are easier to make a thumbnail out of and sometimes they're not sometimes we take five minutes and sometimes we struggle for hours we're like we're like scratching our heads and we're like man this sucks nonetheless this is pretty much towards the end of my day i already got a couple videos done um i already worked on a couple things answer emails related to sponsors a little bit just pretty much got all the little squeaky wheel of the zero business just kind of just make it work at this point in time and i say it's time to prepare the thumbnail and then prepare for bed pretty much Also, every time I come to bed, every single night, I always see this little bandit take away my spot. Oh, look at her. She is just, she's already slumped. Oh, oh she always stretches when you do this. Oh, <laughs> oh look at her manitas. <laughs> hey, would you mind if I lay down next to you? <laughs> would, you would you mind? All right, then I say it's uh, about time to get gear off for bed. Roughly after we get thumbnail done and we get everything else done, then it's just pretty much time to go to sleep and then, probably wake up towards 9 a.m. to upload the video again and then just kind of just rinse and repeat. Sometimes if we don't go motocross, maybe we'll go mountain biking or maybe we'll go to the gym. Obviously, we can't go to the gym anymore because of this whole virus stuff going on, but I'll try to get some type of light activity going on so, you know, I'm not bumming around all day. Other than that, I mean, it's just, it was fun to have you guys along for the ride. Hope you enjoyed. And that's pretty much all I had to show. As you can see, most of my days tend to be a bunch of work in the afternoon and the evenings, a bunch of time recording videos, also spending time crafting the ideas to make the videos it takes sometimes as much time to make the videos themselves. I do a bit of sports on the side. And as you can see, I kind of barely work in real life. Like I'm, I'm the kind of person that I know a lot about certain scenarios, but I'm like an RPG character. Like my stats are like really high in one area. They're really low in another area. So just watching me do certain things every day on a day-to-day -day basis i'm just kind of just <laughs> you probably wonder like how does zero function i didn't try to like make myself look any better than i really am it's just kind of like what a general typical zero day is and i hope you guys enjoy that with that said thank you so much for watching if you guys like this type of content then definitely let me know in the comments down below make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you have not and i'll see you guys around tomorrow's video thanks for watching Bye bye